Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review Slacks, the third feature directed by Montreal-based filmmaker Elsa Kephart, uh, which is co-written by Patricia Gomez. Uh, premiered at the 2020 Fantasia International Film Festival uh, and will be uh, released uh, ex exclusively on Shutter, uh, March 18th, 2021, and then rolls out uh, a week later into uh, Canada. Um, basically, it's a, it's a horror story uh, slash comedy film about killer blue jeans. Um, there is a uh, corporation called Canadian Cotton Clothier, uh, and they have developed uh, this kind of shaped like any number of retail stores. You might be. Um, Reminded of H and M or American Apparel or some such, who whose brand is uh, make uh, to make a better tomorrow today. Uh, they're very eco friendly, anti sweatshop labor, uh, using organic resources, etc. Um, they've developed a new brand of jeans uh, called SS Super Stretchers, which are made with a special cotton that, uh, when touching your body, the uh, cotton forms to shape perfectly to you. So kind of, you know, one size fits all and, you know, makes you, uh, makes you have a killer shape, uh, much like Spanx, I believe, are supposed to work. Um, so that uh, clothing line is about to debut, uh, and at uh, the night before, the whole entire staff is getting the store ready for tomorrow's Monday Madness, and we uh, kind of enter this scenario through the newest employee, uh, a young woman named Libby, played by Roman Denis. Um, and she is very excited to work there and is not off-put at all by the reality of uh, the uh, hierarchy of the managers and all of the usual, if you've ever worked retail, all of this will seem very familiar, even triggering. Um, they're treated to a Monday meeting. One of the managers has opened one of the boxes of super stretchers and uh, put them on, even though they're tech, in the, which is technically stealing. Uh, and then we learn relatively quickly that these genes are murderous and they killed that woman. And then any else they anyone else they come in contact with. Libby discovers it ahead of everyone else and Craig basically tells her, you don't want everybody else to get scared, uh, so let's, you know, we just have to make it through the night. And also they are actually locked into the store and none of them can leave uh, as these genes go on a rampage. Eventually we learn what it is specifically about these genes that makes them murderous um, and then the film kind of goes on from there uh, through the emotions. If you've seen Quentin Dupuis' Rubber, uh, that film has a very similar feel, where, as in you have to really buy into the vibe um, and uh, the suspension of disbelief. Uh, however, uh, it's neither really comedy, it's not comedically inclined per se, or necessarily uh, a horror film. Um, and although it seems to be making a parody of retail and consumerism and uh, globalization and uh, child labor, uh, none of those really work in a way uh, that makes this subversive or uh, cheeky, uh, if you will. Um, and not that there's anything wrong with unlikable characters, uh, it, it just seems that many of the cast, especially like there's a, a YouTube star that is murdered that's there to uh, an influencer, that seems to be aware of the joke of this person being awful uh, and those characters usually work a little better when it, it seems that they're actually playing that, they're oblivious to you know how terrible they are. Um, also for clothes, uh, haunted clothes films, you know, coming after Peter Strickland's In Fabric, uh, this seems to kind of pale in comparison. But much like Dupuis, uh Rubber, it, it seems like an idea the filmmakers had that maybe they just had to get out of their system. That said, the special effects are great. Uh, the FX was by Blood Brothers FX, who also um, did the special effects for Turbo Kid from the same producer, um, who also did uh, Rick Alverson's uh, Entertainment. Uh, and it's very much in that kind of wheelhouse. And uh, if you uh, don't kind of have any expectations going into it, Slacks uh, can be fun. It does have some uh, monotonous dead spots. Uh, however, uh, I would give the film two out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.